Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a Singularity container, container from a docker pool command. So what I mean with a docker pool command is when you, when you see some documentation and then it says do this, do a docker pool and on something to install the software on your computer. So that's what I mean with a docker pool and I know in the back it immediately calls it, pulls it from docker hub and so on. But this is what uh, a beginner user thinks like well, what's a docker pool how do i can i use this for a singularity container this documentation is from the upmax uh, computer guide so that's the the hpc clusters in Uppsala, uh, but it works for everything uh, all environments uh, to create a singularity container from a docker pool so let's take a look at the procedure. There's, uh, there are the, you, you, well, you need to have Linux with Singularity with super user rights. That's maybe the hardest part. Because you're scrolling down, uh, step one is to create a container and step two is to use it. So it's a, it's a very short procedure. So, um, so let's, let's, let's do it. Um, so I need to, so the general command is sudo singularity build mycontainer.sif. This is the file name. And then the location to your docker file and that's where the where the magic is uh, because you don't know a location you just see this and then you probably don't realize if you're new to this that it's on docker hub and to make that command usable you have to use that thing which you put docker colon in front of it Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build this. I'm just gonna copy paste this. I need to make a folder for this. Let's do this. So let's go to here. I make a folder called uh, temp. I go into this folder. There's nothing in it. Great. So I'm gonna make this container. I need to have my super user password. Now it's already building. Uh, that's already great. While it's doing that, let's take a look about what it is actually doing. So this is a tool called Liche or Lychee. I don't know how exactly how to pronounce it. But let's go there. This is where I got the documentation from. So this is their GitHub page and I scroll down. It's a fast async stream based link checker written in Rust. That's what it is. It checks if there are broken links in text files. And how did I find the git the docker pool? It was here. This is where I started this video with. Yeah, but now you see it online. Let's take a look if we already have our singularity content. Yeah, it's there. So now I can already run my container. There you go. But if I run it, it will say, hey dear user, to use Litchi, you need to add an argument. Well, so I need to give it an argument for files to be checked. I'm going to make a file that it will check. I call the file readme.md. And we're going to put in some links in this. Um, so it can check this file. So let's give it a, so this is for example, a valid link. Let's put it here. This is a valid link. And this would be an invalid link, right? So we're going to let Lychee check this file and we'll say that only this file is a bad link. Uh, I can confirm this if I paste this in my web browser. It will say page not found. Now let's see if it works like that. So I'm going to call my singularity container on this file I just created and then it will do its magic. And it will say indeed, hey, this weird link does not exist. So here I've proven that my singularity container uh, actually uses Litchi. And this file is called mycontainer.sif. Sif is the extension for a singularity file or singularity image file. Um, that file you can put it on any HPC cluster and run it uh, without super user rights. All right, um, I think I have, oh yeah, I already showed you this. So this was my video on how to create a singularity container when you read the word docker pool in documentation. I wish you a very good day. Bye.